Hey, how you doing? Hey, this is Admin from Plex, guys. So this is a version two of the Ambi install. So this is a really long overdue. There have been many changes that have been made to Plex God, and obviously a lot of changes made to Ambi. So uh, I feel it's a good need to update. So some of you may have a question about why would I install Ambi? Ambi is a great program because it's basically a program that's like a middleman between your users and between Sonar, Radar, and I believe LiDAR, I think. Uh, I, I remember him saying something about working on the music piece. But uh, that's what Ambi is great at doing. Also, Sonar and Radar tend to give you um, results that sometimes you're not looking for. And Ambi has been pretty helpful with that, along with the use of a mobile application um, that he advertises here. So you can get it through the iOS store and Android app. And uh, like I said, uh, yeah, Titus Jar is one of the main reasons why um let's go to ambi here let's see if he's online oh no look at that he must be on vacation today but titus is one of the main reasons why i actually built this program indirectly and the reason for it uh plex guide indirectly is because um i was using ambi on windows and it was just a long frustrating process not not because of ambi it's just things in windows and as i learned about uh, plex drive and linux we, you know, I was like, hey, maybe I just need to start getting something going. So um, I do appreciate all the discussions I've, I've, I've had with him. I've, I've probably almost going on two years closely. Um, and uh, yeah, we've probably already contributed like $150 to his project. And uh, yeah, he's just he's just been great to the community and, and answering questions. Um, so I know he's exhausted because the, the quest for making the perfect server never ends. So you can visit us at plexguide.com here. And you can see here we have release information. We have forms, we have wikis, and basically it's for like many, many programs. But there's primary key programs to install. It's Ambi, Sonar, Radar, LADAR, NZB Git, Plex, kind of call it a day from there. But we do have many other extra programs um, that you can install to your heart's content. And you can see here that we have uh, Wikipedias uh, that we built out for much of this stuff. So if you want to learn about Plex Guide and and how to install it. If you wanna learn Linux videos, we have it here for you. So here we're just gonna show how fast um, be installed. So I'm just gonna go ahead and here and type Plex Guide. So basically once you install this program, it kind of gives you like a GUI-like interface before it was all in text, but it wasn't ran in Ansible. Um, then we went to Ansible with blue menus. We got a little bit more sophisticated in what we're doing. So now we have more of a streamlined menu that's adaptive to your needs. So if you're running, um, basically we have four editions of FlexGuide. You can run this with Google Drive. You can run this with Google Cloud uh, and use that $300 free credits and push terabytes of data a day to your Google Drive. Uh, we have H, uh, we have the PG uh, Multi HD Edition where you can merge multiple hard drives and it's seen as one drive. And we also have the HD Solo Edition. So you might have a VPS and you're just trying to collect a few things. So um, we do have a lot of options here. You can set up a reverse proxy, so you can do ambi.yourdomain.com, and or uh, let me show this here. You can. I haven't properly. Yeah, it looks. It looks like it blocked it. Um, yeah, because I'm using the HD multiple multiple edition. I haven't. I haven't set up a mount yet, but um, you could set up uh, ambi to deploy at the root of your domain. Um, we have port guard, so it closes out your ports. You can, we have an authentication system, so you can log on ver via your Google account. Um, and, and, you know, thanks to some of our uh, team members for that. Um, and basically, we're just going to go ahead and deploy Ambi. And this is how easy we make it for you. So there's an Ambi, Ambi 4K, Ambi HDR. So they're all the same thing. What happens is, is that each version of Ambi basically allows you to um access each version via a different port so for example you may want an ambi 4k and you want to deploy radar 4k and these only focus on obtaining 4k quality movies and uh contents so um by default just launch ambi uh if you do ambi 4k it doesn't mean that it's 4k movies downloaded you basically just set everything to download at 4k um, so, but we give we give you those extra containers. So and yes, we do give you extra ports to, to, to load stuff on. So um, each each one has different ports. So we're just gonna go ahead and load Ambi here, and it literally deploys in a matter of I don't know seconds. 
And uh, yeah, this is all done via Docker. And that's great for you. If you don't know what Docker is, think of each program launching in its own virtual machine. And the great thing is all the data is, is standardized in one set location. So you could back everything up to your Google Drive and just call it a day and redeploy another server. So um, I used to spend basically like seven to 10 days building my server over and over again. And that's not with mistakes. Uh, basically, we do the mounts, the UnionFS, the R clone. If you're not familiar with this, it basically uh, moves all your, your program information around for you. So, okay, now we went ahead and installed Ambi. So let's go to what the demo looks like here. So I've already logged in and you could see here that there has been many changes made to Ambi over time. I remember I was using Ambi on version two. Version two was using, uh, damn Titus, you're gonna kill me. <sighs> Mono, yeah, 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 Mono. So Sonar, Radar, if you ever deployed them, you notice they eat like a lot of processing power. It's because they're using a thing called Mono. It's kind of like programs basically in some Windows format, whatever, to basically get the programs up and running. So um, Ty's got tired of it because Ami would just randomly shut down. <laughs> you probably remember those days. I'm just like, hey man, you know, uh, I actually, when he had version two, I had a script that would reboot Ami every 60 minutes <laughs> so, just to make sure it was good. You wouldn't notice it, but you know, you kind of had to kickstart it a little bit. But version three, he rewrote the whole thing. He's come out with his mobile app and he's made a lot of wonderful changes here that has made this program better over time. So you can see here that when we go to settings, uh, he does have a good amount of configurations that he's simplified. So you can do your own um, URL. So um, you can do your own custom logo and you can even have your own custom donation link. So by, and you can even set your own name. Cause I remember when he had version two, I was like, Hey man, can we change the name? Um, cause Ambi is a good name for, for programs. The, the problem is for some of your users, it's kind of a throw off. Uh, and then you get an Ambi newsletter. So, you know, by actually having your own logo and having your own application name, it just makes it easier. And when you enable the donation link, it's yours. Um, you know, and, and like I said, if you ever have some time to donate, you know, donate some money to his project. Uh, if you ever got time, come visit his GitHub project here and give it a, give it a star, um, you know, check it out, check out his apps. And, uh, you know, even though the apps aren't perfect, hey, you know, support the guy. Uh, he's worked some crazy hours. <laughs> the money uh, that's made on the side, I know from my project and his project, um, they're just basically enough to cover basic expenses. It, it, it enables our habits. So the more you donate, the, the worse you kind of make it for us. <laughs> so, <laughs> but anyways, yeah, it covers, you know, hosting, um, you know, programs that you're purchasing, computer servers, testing, uh, sometimes even giving, uh, you know, um, paying, paying servers for your members too, uh, for testing. But anyways, um, you can see here that, uh, Ambi is just dead simple. So you're looking for a movie, you type, uh, home alone. You basically type that and it comes up and you see that you can just go ahead and do requests. So right now I'm in his version right now. So there's my version deployed through Plex God. Um, but you can simply just type things and you see how you just request stuff. So um, here you see as administrative controls because just because it's a demo. But for you, you basically will deploy, you will set it up via to work with Plex or MB. And you will either hook it up through Sonar. You can use Couch Potato, uh, Dog NZB. Most people would commonly do Sonar and commonly do Radar and call it a day. Why? Because they're just easy to, because they just talk to each other. So let's go to Sonar right here. So um, basically through Plex Guy, we're gonna go ahead and deploy Sonar. I hope some of you are familiar with that. Great program. So Sonar, and again, it's just that easy to deploy Sonar through Plex Guide. Um, yeah, it already kind of does a lot of the configuration settings for you, so you don't have to deal with it. We can thank also the Linux server community these guys right here for helping build a lot of these containers out and automatic updates and making sure that they're pretty run pretty smooth. So the reason I'm using my IP address here is because I'm running all this on a virtual machine right here. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead here. We're gonna go ahead and paste it. And so here's Sonar, right? So here you can, yes, you can request movies and I mean, well, Sonar, you can request TV shows, but you don't wanna give your users access to your Sonar, you know, password and all that good stuff, you know, cause it's a lot of, things that they can control and do for better and worse. So basically to configure Ambi to talk to Sonar, you just do enable. 
Um, I'm running containers, so I, I'm gonna experiment with this. Normally you would type localhost or whatever you what it, whatever it is, but I'm, I'm just gonna see. I'm a little curious to see if this works. If not, I, I know I know if, if N, NZB get and sonar, we can just type the Docker names and they just work. Um, API key. So you see how simple it is to configure it in Ambi. Okay. Quality profiles. Let me just go ahead and get a do a pull. So I already know that it's working because it's communicated to it. So for example, we were talking about like the 4Ks, whatever. So in Sonar, you would set up with all 4K profile and then you just set up 4K. Okay, so I don't know, Ultra HD, any. So the Sonar right now is not configured to, you know, it talks in ZBGit, but it's not configured to actually download anything right now. This is just for demo purposes. Get roots. There we go. And again, if you don't have Sonar set up properly, you'll have some issues here. So just make sure everything's working and test and there you go. So now if we do a search, let's go to TV shows and oh, look at that Game of Thrones. We love Game of Thrones, don't we? So you're gonna do all seasons, right? You just kind of give it a second. They're talking back and forth and look, it's like, hey, I re requested it. Now look, here it is populating over here. So it just makes it easy. Um, Ambi does have, like I said, granular controls that you saw in his. So for example, you can do automatic approval. Now I'm the admin, so obviously, yes, it's gonna be approved, but you don't, I don't know, you, depending on what kind of server you have, you may have a home server with limited bandwidth and you probably don't want somebody requesting 500 different TV shows. So he does have controls. Uh, it's been a minute since I've been there. Let's see, where is it at? It's not notifications, configuration. Uh, that's important, not the user importer. I'm probably in a complete wrong area. Uh, user management, there we go. Okay, so here um, you can you can edit the user's permissions like auto approve TV, request TV. So you may wanna, uh, if you don't wanna be overwhelmed, you might automatically approve it. But if, if you don't, if you wanna make sure you check it yourself, you can turn that on. Uh, and then you can also set a limit request here. Um, so this might be helpful again, so that uh, you may have auto on and then movie request or TV show request and just call it a day. So um, yeah, he does a pretty good job in uh, setting all this up. So search is very simple. The requests are simple. User management is simple. You can put your own users or import them so you can add your Plex friends. Um, and actually that's a new setting that I saw not too long ago. You can also set up a newsletter. This was useful in Ambi too. So you can set up automated newsletter. So things that are automatically coming in, Ambi will go ahead and push it out to your users. Um, you can even set it up via Slack. Um, I don't know too many people who would do it, but um, you can do uh, email. So there's there's numerous ways you can have uh, Ambi communicate to your users. Um, a good thing uh, when I when I ran a major Plex server, um, you know, just because you know some of these servers are expensive, um, you can have a set up a landing page, and you can even give a PayPal link. Like you can even put an HTML uh, thing in there, like a button. So it was, it was actually useful for uh, people uh, donating to your server. Just make sure you want to get it up and running. And you remember the key thing you're stressing is, is you're donating to your server costs, you know? So um, this is not a, you know, selling thing, you know? Um, but other than that, it's, that's, that's pretty much it, you know? Um, but again, I, I highly recommend this mobile app. You know, check out Plex Guide if you ever got the time. So, and if you're afraid of Linux, don't worry about it. We have uh, Wikipedias, we have guides, like, like we showed you here earlier. Even got a PG YouTube series, um, so you know videos you're gonna watch. And I think the old Ambi video, where are you at? Kind of blind here. There we go. Look at that. So you could tell that our website's changed a lot. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of resources that we have, and we're just all about sharing knowledge. And and I appreciate everything Titus Jar does, uh, what the Ambi community does. You know, make sure to come check out his. Uh, <laughs> yeah, make sure you to come check out his uh, his site. Uh, make sure you stop by Plex Guide here too, you know, so um, we, we have our users here and we always have a good amount of, you know, fair amount of people on here too. And we're all learning and struggling together, right? So if you got to, uh, a second, you know, uh, please feel free to uh, subscribe or uh, even, uh, you know, like the video so it does help a lot. Um, if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to note them. Uh, and again, uh, thanks for checking us out. Appreciate your time.